This is your StockAlert.com here today to bring you the video chart of TRDX, Trend Exploration Inc. Our first task for today is to identify the lines of support and the lines of resistance. Re support will be identified by the green line I'm about to draw. As we can see, our first level of support is around 0.015. As customary, we always find a second level of support if there is one. In this case, there is. That second level of support is right here at 0 0.01. Interesting things to note about these levels of support. 0 0.01 has held relatively strong for the last four months. It's five months, actually. Considering that this stock is an OTC stock, that's very impressive. Letting us know that sellers simply aren't selling below 0 0.015 and buyers are ready to buy exactly around 0 0.015. Something else interesting to note is that the only time this stock has actually broken 0 0.015 let's turn that back green was in March and it was only temporary temporarily dropped actually. In fact, it closed above 0 0.015. Closed exactly a, a little bit below 0 0.02 actually. So as we can see, see so turn that white. The 0 0.015 support level is pretty strong. So we, we would suggest users set their stop losses around 0 0.015 or from 0 0.01 to 0 0.015. Our next task is to look for resistance. The first and most obvious level of resistance would be the top 0 0.08. Looking for the next level of resistance, we can see it around 0 0.04. And looking for one more line of weaker resistance let's see let's move this one here slightly down there's another slight weaker level of resistance which will be identified by this thinner red line around 0 0.03 this makes sense simply because 0 0.03 there seemed to be a lot of panic selling going on between the months of July and August, which would have caused resistance. And also 0 0.03 represents a gain of 50% from our current level at 0 0.02. And 0 0.04 represents a gain of 100% at our current level of 0 0.02, which would be natural, natural phases of resistance. Our next task is to look at our indicators. The first indicator we will look at is the RSI. As we can see, our RSI has been relatively relatively stable for the last month. We were a bit oversold right around here, and we were a bit overbought right around here. However, right now we're sitting pretty neutral at 50.9 which is great during periods of consolidation and as you can see we've pretty much been consolidating between these levels of 0 0.015 and 0 0.02 for about a month or so a month and a half our next indicator to look at is the money flow index during times of consolidation sometimes it's it becomes very difficult to figure out where the next move will be. Will it be up? Will it be down? The money flow index can help us with that predicament because it's an indicator that predicts future movement. As we can see, we have a, our money flow index has been trending up lately. And it's at the critical level of 76. A move to 90 should send this stock 
pass resistance until the 0 .03 ish level or higher. As we can see, even though it looks like simple consolidation, money has been flowing into this stock. And if we look previously when this has happened in the past, we can see that the stock actually here we have consolidation, consolidation, and then we have this sudden upswing. Then we have more consolidation, 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 and we have a second upswing. However, during the second upswing, if you have been paying attention to the money flow index, you would have seen that money was actually leaving the stock. And it would have predicted you to this future crash here. The next indicator for us to look at is the ADX. The ADX is an important indicator which pretty much, pretty much represents the strength of a trend. An ADX above 20 represents a trend and the positive DI or negative DI lets us know that trend is bullish or bearish. The positive DI being represented by the green line and the negative DI being represented by the red line. As we can see, right now our ADX represented by this white line here is at 11.48 which means that there is no trend in place which will be expected because of all of this consolidation we have here. However, on the positive note, even though there is no real trend in place, we can see that positive sentiment is stronger than negative sentiment at the moment and actually has been for the last few trading periods. This combined with the rising money flow index leads us to believe that the next move will in fact be bullish. Also, looking at the data that we haven't broken 0 0.015 for more than a day. However, we've actually broken 0 0.02 on multiple occasions, or at least hit 0 0.02. That also supports our claim that the next move will in fact be bullish. As always, manage your trades properly and pick your lines of entry and your lines of exit before the trades. This is your team at YourStockAlert.com signing out. Happy trading investors.